hello YouTube um, I'm just making this video to bring something to light for any of you researchers out there like me who like to have your research together to quote the naysayers quote to the naysayers um, it's been going around on the internet that this um, workshop European workshop uh, about induced seismicity is a smoking gun for heart induced seismicity man-made earthquakes induced by man um, and I fell for it too but have been a researcher and liking to get all my uh, research together like I have um, my harp thing is full I was going to go see Kim Trail patents, heart related patents, Nor Norway spiral explained, active denial system. That's for the uh, <clears throat> that's for the uh, microwave stuff, Dr. Bartel. I mean the microwave effect, <laughs> how it can make you sick. Um, and uh, so I was going to go get these documents to put in my heart file here, and. I started reading this and um, because it sound sound good, smoking gun. Let me go get that gun, and put it in my in my documents. Um, it, this was a seminar held in 2010. 2010, well, dang, let me go see what they said. So I went. To, this was just the first circular. Uh, I went to the website dot um, org, whatever. Eventually, I found the right stuff. Let me just go in order here. So, here I went to the oh, events. And the workshop on induced seismicity. Thanks to all participants for their contributions, making the workshop a great success. Well, and here's the available presentations. And you can get the PDF. Okay, number one, it's real scientific. Number two, there's only one thing that might be that that's related to uh, heart, but it's it's simply because it's electromagnetic and it's one of the ways that can be induced. And we tend to think um, we we tend to think uh, one way. And once I started reading this, I went, "Oh Lord, <laughs> man induces earthquakes not on purpose many times." And this these are the man-made earthquakes. <laughs> generally speaking not on purpose like I remember in the uh, first um, heart the first heart film I saw with from Dr. Beggage um, the guy that talks about doing the oil and gas how they uh, have a little instrument they go around to um, use 30 watts and shoot a wave into the ground of frequency and they can come back and it's like a piano and um, it, whatever the frequency is, they can tell whether it's oil or gas or exactly what element it, it is with 99% with accuracy or something like that. But they only use 30 watts. And in some areas of the country, he was like oh, scared that they would induce an earthquake because some, some of them are so sensitive. Well, and Harp, <laughs> Harp uh, ends up with a, a, a billion watts. But, but it doesn't use that. That's what using the ionosphere it'll come back that strong that's not what they have to send up to get it at any rate um, this is induced seismicity but it's talking about like um, uh, on construction projects that they've done when they this caused this earthquake this caused this earthquake and they there's different ways like in mines um, uh, going through a mine and you some of it's induced with liquid if it goes through a fault line and things like that. Anyway, these um, keynote lectures were, uh, let's see, at one site somewhere in Europe, and the scientific results obtained in different experimental conditions. Injection induced seismicity. Lessons learned and open questions. That's with the, uh, with the liquid. Shear and tensile earthquakes caused by fluid injection. Yeah. Um, Induced earthquakes during the construction of the Gothard Base Tunnel, Switzerland. Hypocenter locations and source parameters. Talks were first results of nano seismic monitoring at geothermal sites. That's um, 
you know, like a, a Old Faithful. Oscillation, that's when you, you're moving the liquid around. A fluid-filled cracks triggered by degassing of CO2 due to leakage along well bores. It's it, when they're doing the construction in the ground and stuff, dig, digging for oil, and they can um, accidentally cause them. Micro seismic and leveling monitoring of a solution mining cavern collapse. Seismic noise, a challenge and opportunity for seismological monitoring in densely populated areas. Um, scaling regions of induced seismicity and pico scale, one of the things they use. Or, I'm not sure if you say that right. I learned from reading. I don't get to hear anyone say it. A case study from, however you say that, uh, Deep Gold Mine, P Poning, Deep Gold Mine, South Africa. It's mining, it's, it's mining and um, boring. It's construction things when you go deep in the earth that, that um, they cause that kind of induced. Uh, uh, earthquakes induced seismicity. Um, <laughs> however, micro seismic monitoring of fluid injection at <coughs> excuse me and that <laughs> long year bin uh, CO2 lab Svalbard. However, <laughs> Svalbard is a it's where Ice Cat is located. One of the um, uh, my, uh, beaming systems that um, work with HARP and it also has the University of Alaska with it over there in Norway or I think it's in Norway anyway it's north 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 like getting north toward the North Pole um, laboratory study of temporal spatial peculiarities of micro seismicity spreading due to poor pressure change so this is mostly in construction of the um, when they have to dig deep in the ground, mines, um, drilling for oil or whatever they drill for, gas, all kind of stuff, and tunnels, the suit, uh, canals, things like that. And there's posters. Now the poster has one. <coughs> that you now this is the <coughs> one that would interest us. Nonlinear analysis of seismic regime response to electromagnetic powerful source actions. Now, they don't say the powerful source action, but this is the one that, that could, we, that um, intentional uh, induced seismicity, seismicity would come under using uh, electromagnetic radio waves like HARP does. It's that one. That's the one that it would come under and it takes forever to download. Um, this is the this is their site. They're they're just a professional organization studying seismology. Anyway, I just wanted to um, alert people to that because um, especially when all this crap is going on in the world, it's really easy to. Uh, I mean, I fell for it too. It's easy to make these kind of mistakes. And, but when I went to get the articles, I realized, oh no, this isn't a smoking gun. And this um, European Center for Geodynamics and Seismology would probably take offense to such. So, um, for all of you who uh, like to keep your research in order, that I just wanted to make you aware of this. This is not a smoking gun. This is normal construction. Uh, <laughs> normal in our world today type construction of, of how uh, accidentally man-induced earthquakes form. That's all. I just wanted to let you know about that. Y'all have a good day.